Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So, as you guys know, I've been playing Druid a lot in Diablo 4. I got a little bored, though. I was talking about that in my kind of like first impressions video around like level 85 or 86. Um, just because really the only thing left for me to do was grind to 100, but it didn't really feel like there was any desire to grind due to the gear not really changing, right? Uh, of course, there is like a nice uh, uber boss to fight uber Lilith. I threw my face at her 20 times. I hit resurrect more than 20 times. Definitely an interesting fight. Not something I want to do on a druid, though. I think I'd want to do it on something that feels a bit cleaner, specifically for one-on-one -on -one encounters, maybe like a rogue or a barbarian. Uh, regardless, though, I decided I wanted to give a shot at hardcore since a lot of people know me for previously playing hardcore in a lot of games. And now that I have a nice amount of knowledge... Um, on how itemization works on your gear, you know, how your skill tree, I mean, everyone kind of knows how the skill tree works, but you know, just now that I feel a bit more confident or a lot more confident, I want to give hardcore a run. And let me explain why before I jump into it. Uh, for me, honestly, one of the most enjoying parts about Diablo 4 is exploring the open world, which I know is repetitive a lot, right? In the next season, actually, in fact, we're going to have the map fully explored if we already did it. But just for now, since there is limited endgame, exploring the world, even doing some side quests doesn't really feel that bad for me. I kind of do the side quest because I don't have a campaign right now, and it's just a little bit different from spamming dungeons. Again, not something I want to do forever. It's just a nice, it like, in between right now, right? going through and finding you know the gear pieces before you're at ancestral because you still have like normal and then you have sacred then you have your ancestral uh you know finding the uh i would say uniques but that's way too early finding the legendary aspects for your build to get it started more so understanding how to level your character a lot of people always i see people asking for leveling guides in diablo 4 and at least for druid i mean you can have an outline for a leveling build but ultimately, based off of what drops is how you're going to level. So, prime example, uh, right now on my Druid, I'm he heavily spec into Poison Creeper. So I've got like 5 points in Poison Creeper, uh, with points in Call of the Wild as well. So, primarily, it's like defensive, so I've got Bulwark for defense, so that gives me a big bubble, also a CC break. I've got Debilitating Roar, which also reduces damage, heals me, and fortifies. Trample is another form of CC break, but also... One of my first legendaries was Trample Summon 6 Landslide Pillars during its duration that deal damage. So immediately, I was originally Pulverize. All I did was pull the points out of Pulverize, go into Landslide, and now I have a nice single target boost to my build. So that was kind of cool, right? Very happy with how this character is scaling. Really fast, I need to actually just put a quick point into something. I'm not really sure. Let's just put a point here, sure. Because I want to grab Ursine Strength, I think. In 20% maximum life when in werebear form and for three seconds after leaving werebear form while healthy deal 30% increased damage see like the while healthy 30% increased damage sounds kind of nuts i wonder if it actually scales the tooltip let's see 2506 3259 oh man dude poison creeper is going to slap so just to give you guys a quick example of what i've been doing kind of exploring regions one at a time so like i fully explored key of Ashad here uh then i'm gonna work my way in scosclin and then kind of work down into the other areas and then whenever i feel like it i'm gonna go on my mount and go and basically collect every single altar i think the the lilith altars are important once you hit paragon Prior to that, I don't think they're as important, but obviously they're still good, right? So let me go ahead and just zoom out through here and show you guys what it's like to uh, solo level a druid. It's honestly been a lot of fun. Another reason why I wanted to do this is I have so many people complaining about druid leveling, right? I, I overhear things from all over the spectrum of it's garbage, it doesn't do any damage, I can't kill any three, anything, uh, thing, I'm squishy, I'm super slow. In regards to slow, I can completely understand because your entire, your entire ability to zoom is based off of your gear, right? Like, do you have movement speed on your boots? Do you have movement speed on your amulet? That's all you really got, right? There's not really much else other than, you know, uh, movement speed after you have sprinted and etc. But that's all just, you know, there from, uh, from gear, really. Okay, what is in here? What do we got in here? We got an event up there. Okay. Okay, what else do we have? We got some side quests. Nice, dude. Okay. Alright, is there any, any mobs around here? Alright, here's some mobs, so... Basically, what I've been doing, I just literally pull mobs, right? 
And then you just Poison Creeper. And Poison Creeper, if you look at their health, is killing even like the Mauler from full health, right? Poison Creeper has honestly been a lifesaver on Druid. My single target is not amazing, but I will definitely say that Landslide is an up from Pulverize along with like the Trample uh, addition and then applying Vuln via Stormstrike. So I don't think it's that bad at all. Here's a pretty nice pack actually. Yeah, okay, very nice. Good, good, and Poison Creeper. Why did that not go off? There we go. And you can actually watch the XP start to tick up from Poison Creeper. It's so good. It's obnoxious, to be honest. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So if you guys want to check out the Druid leveling, I'll be leveling this character live on stream. I don't really play too much off stream, so we'll be playing it today. Then we take a break on Sunday, and we'll be back all next week pretty much playing Diablo 4. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.